Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So today we want to talk about how to get a job in Germany as an expat or a foreigner. Sounds cool, eh? So if you want to get a job, this video is for you. First, there are things you need to know about getting a job in Germany. It's very important for you as an expat. It's all about applications. So in Germany, I recommend as a foreigner, the minimum of 20 applications every day. It sounds difficult, yeah? But if you want to get a job within a month, if you do this consecutively, you get a job. And Remember to write me when you get a job. So there are documents you need for your application. One of these documents is your CV. Your CV is very important. It is the most important document for you when applying for a job. And my recommendation is put your CV in German language. So you have your application letter, which is your motivation letter, or it's called Anschreiben. Then comes your certificate, you know, your degree certificate, and then again, if you've had experience, like you've worked previously, so you need also your work certificate. These are the basic things you need. If they want any more documents, they can always write to you. And very important, if you already have a driving license in Germany, you should add that to your CV that you have a driving license. But we'll get to that later in the coming video. So you have this document and then you apply. So where do you apply? Where do you search for jobs? There are two ways about it. One is the advertised jobs, that's the ones you see on the internet or in job mess, like, you know, job fairs around. So usually there are websites where you can apply to advertised job. So my number one is indeed.de. You have LinkedIn. I should do a video about how to apply in LinkedIn because there are so many ways to apply in LinkedIn and they're very easy ways. So that should be one of my videos. So always keep that notification button on so you don't miss this video. You have Stepstone, you have Glassdoor, you have Agentur for Arbeit Job Buzzer. Like Agentur for Arbeit has this website where you see lots of advertised openings. So you can apply to that. You have Zing.de, then you have Stellenanteige. So there are lots of websites where you can search for jobs. But these are my own personal recommendation. I'm not advertising for any, any of these, it's just my own personal experience and what you can do to go about it. There is something I have noticed recently and that is about the requirements that are shown in these advertisements. So where you see in the requirements that's only German language of a certain or a German sufficiency is required. So in this case, they are assuming that you already know how to speak English. So you also need to learn how to speak German. The other side of it is where they say that um, English is required only. So in this case, they assume that you already speak German, that like your mother tongue is German. So you apply because you also know how to speak English. So you do that. But there are also uh, situations where you see requirements of English um, proficiency and also the German proficiency. Sometimes they keep a level like B1, B2, C1, and so on and so forth. So guys, apply to all of them, whether you're a mother tongue speaker, as far as you can speak German to a communicative level, you can speak English, definitely you should speak English. So just apply to these openings and keep on applying. Remember, 20 applications a day, that's the goal. So you should take it so serious like a work. Once you get to 20, relax. In Agentur for Arbeit, when you register under the Agentur for Arbeit, as someone who is looking for a job, there are requirements. You don't just come into Germany and go to them so for hours and reach that. No, there are requirements for that, but that's going to be for some time later. You are required to submit the applications you've made in a week, in a month. And when you do this, you get paid for that. Do you know that? I know you don't. Next one is on the part of unsolicited application. This is where I recommend to every person if you want to get a job as quickly as possible in the right position you are willing and dreaming to work in, this is the best option for you. Because this time around, you are not competing with a lot of people who are applying for just a particular position, but now you are advertising yourself to these companies. How to go about this is just go to Google, search the company names where you want to work, get the email addresses and send them these emails. So this is the easiest way to get a job. So you write your unsolicited 
application and send to them. The next stage is when you get an invitation letter for an interview. You have questions to really prepare and again you need to ask them questions but that's going to be for another video. So after that you've gone for an interview, you come back and it is expected that they give you a reply after two weeks. Mind you, you're going to be getting a lot of lighter niche, lighter niche. That means they are rejecting you for the application. It happens. You know, there is a saying that failure is just a postponed success. So don't worry about that. Just keep on working and working and you get something. So after two weeks, if you don't get a reply from them, call them on the phone. Don't write them an email. Don't try to send them a letter by post. Call them on phone. This is the quickest way to do this. This is something I've learned. Call them on the phone, speak to them and get their response. You tell them, oh, I'm so, so, so person. I applied for a job at a company, at a position. You know, give them details. If they have good news for you, they tell you immediately or they tell you, okay, we're going to get back to you in the coming days or not. And usually once you finish this call, if they're not taking you, get your lighter niche letter immediately or the next day. So it helps you to know, you know, if you have a list of places you've been applying, so you know, oh, this guy, no, you know, you cancel the list and you move on until you get what you're looking for. So guys, for the next video, I will show you exactly how to organize your CV in the German way and also how to write your unsolicited application. So that's it from my side. But remember to share this video, comment, like, so that people who are also interested in gaining from such content can you know, gets to have that. So see you next time. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss.